What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back. Glad you're here. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at a deck that just hit Kickstarter. That's right. And it's ready for the taking. We're going to be looking at the new Jet Setters playing cards. That's right. The Lounge Edition in Terminal Teal. So, buckle in your seatbelts. We're ready for takeoff. Let's go. The Jet Setters playing cards, new lounge edition in Terminal Teal. If you're not familiar with Jet Setters playing cards, they were established back in 2015. Since then, they have become a notable luxury brand amongst aviation and the playing card community. Jet Setters has produced over six individual decks, which came to 16,000 units, and they've shipped to over 35 different countries around the globe. The Lounge Edition Jet Setters playing cards launched on Kickstarter on August 4th at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. It's a 27-day campaign with a goal of $7,000, which they blew out of the water within hours. That's right. They already even smashed the stretch goal for the Limited Edition deck. Now, the Limited Back deck is going to be a $20 add-on and it's going to include silver foil on the large spade logos applied to the back design of the cards it's also going to have clear spot uv coating applied to the back design of the deck as well and it's going to be individually numbered sealed the tuck box is going to feature that beautiful synthetic tuck case that we all know and love from jet setters and expert playing cards it's going to have that repeated casino back pattern there in the center, making up the majority of the design. It's also going to have a miniature border going around that. And at the bottom left, it's going to say Lounge Edition Standard Back with the Jet Setters logo enlarged on the right. The left and right sides of the tuck box are going to say Jet Setters Playing Cards. The bottom of the tuck box is going to feature some ad copy, which is going to be different from this prototype version to the final. The back design on the tuck box is going to be the back design of the deck itself, which we'll get into shortly. There's no tuck seal. The top of the tuck box on mine is different, but on the finished version, I would assume it's going to say poker size classic finish. The inner part of the flap is going to also say welcome to first class. That's it for the tuck box. Let's look at these cards. The back design on the deck itself is going to be made up of those planes as well as the Jet Setters logo, creating that beautiful two-way image of that casino back pattern. Also, you're going to have that medium white poker border matched up with another pencil thin poker border as well. They also chose to off-center the logos there for the main part of the design, unlike the premieres which were straight up and down. This deck does come printed by the Expert Playing Card Company on their classic finish, that's right. And this deck is right now available on Kickstarter. The jokers in this deck are to mimic fictional boarding passes. As you can see here, my prototype's gonna be varied and different from the final deck. One of the airports on here are gonna be in Bradley International in Windsor Locks, Connecticut. The other one is still to be determined. It's gonna say Joker in each of the opposite corners. One of the other cool little touches here is where it says gate on the one Joker. There's gonna be a eight of spades reveal. Other details might change and might not, and these are very original to the Jet Setters decks. The pips and indices and courts in this deck are your industry standard, making this deck great for gameplay, magic, and cardistry. The courts have also been stripped down to look very beautiful and vintage. The reds are only that red and gold, where the blacks have been stripped down to just that same terminal teal and silver color giving it that much more of a touch of elegance. The aces in this deck have now a large center pip on them, giving them a bolder kind of look and feel. 
the Ace of Spades is still the prominent of the Aces. It's gonna have that enlarged Jet Setters logo there in the center. And it's also gonna say Jet Setters playing cards, luxury brand, quality decks, established in 2015. That's it for the deck. Join me now for my final thoughts. All right, guys, you wanna know what I give this deck? I gotta give it a B plus. That's right, a B plus. Um, it's an amazing deck of cards. I mean, it really is. This deck, I just wanna say something real quick, a quick disclaimer for a lot of you guys out there that might be deterred from buying a deck like this because it has Expert's name on it. Let me just tell you, not every deck from Expert feels the same, right? And I learned this the hard way years ago. Um, you know, a lot of you are probably like, oh, I'm not buying it because it's expert because it probably feels like the vintage Jerry's and I don't like how the Jerry's feel. Or it feels like the David Blaine Skull and Crossbones deck, blah, blah, blah. First off, no. Doesn't feel anywhere near that. Number two, those are way different finishes and the whole nine, okay? Those are done with the JN finish. This is classic finish, two different stocks, the whole nine, okay? This deck is as close to USPC as expert has ever gotten, okay? This deck feels like butter period. Um, so please, if you haven't got your hands on the Premier Editions, get yourself one so you can see and kind of get acquainted with that awesome feel. It's not like any other deck that's out there. That's the best part. It's similar to USPC, but in a class of its own. That's the best part about it, okay? That's what makes these stand out, because as soft as they are, they're also very well, and they, they last the test of time. I mean, it's awesome. I've had a deck that I've been using for, you know, a couple times a week that I've had open for well over a year and the deck feels like brand new. They're just one of those decks that you can just beat the you know what out of and it keeps going and going and going. So make sure you check those out, okay? I'll also link those down below where you guys can go and get your hands on the Premier Editions to get yourself ready for this one. And I'm hoping to see these in the extra colors because in the, the, the prototype invitational, there was a couple of double, you know, double backers in different colors. I don't know if it's something he's leaning towards or if that's the color she's going to go for, but I'll tell you what, I'd like to see the red and the black come true. So you never know. Um, but yeah, speaking of which, I do want to thank Paul Ruccio personally um, and publicly for allowing me to be part of this year's Prototype Invitational. If you guys are unaware of what that is, every time Paul uh, launches a product, uh, Kickstarter, whatever the case, he does these Prototype Invitationals where he picks different individuals to be part of it and promote and push and prod the deck and get it out there to you people and all across the world. Um, I was lucky enough to be chosen amongst 30 individuals um, to push this product. Um, and he sends you out this beautiful prototype deck, some stickers, you know, like I said, the double backers and whatnot. You get it in this beautiful, nice cargo looking case thing. And it's just beautiful. Um, so thank you. Um, and also thank you to all the people that voted for me to be a part of this as well, if you did. Uh, I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Um, but yeah. This has just been wonderful. It's, it's been a, a real part to be part of this with so many great people like Ben Kalowski, uh, Pablo Frey, uh, Magic Orthodoxy, SoCal Playing Cards, Jeremy Griffith, Caroline Raven, Small Hand Things. I mean, the list goes on and on and on and on. And it's just amazing to be next to those people on this project. It really does feel something special. So thank you, Paul. Um, but yeah, like I said, there's a lot more other add-ons and stuff that they're going to be bringing to the table as well. Uh, a lot of care case productions, cases, and stuff like that. You guys know that I'm a very, very sworn advocate of anything care case related. Um, it's just what it is. I love all of his products, and he's a friend of the channel. Um, but there's going to be stripper decks that come in three different tiers. Uh, you know, novice, intermediate, pro, really good. Probably some of the best stripper decks I've ever seen, period. Um, so yeah, just go over there and check it out. Just check it out. Take it all in, all right? So that's all I can say, guys, really. I mean, I could go on and on, but that's all I'm gonna say because this is one of those products that speaks for itself. So yeah, but that's all I can say, guys. Like I said, I'll link everything down below where you guys can go and link to Kickstarter, the whole nine, get your premiere decks, whatever, whatever, whatever. 
And that's it. So I do want to thank Paul one more time for allowing me to be part of this year's Invitational as well as allowing me to review this deck early. And if you enjoyed this review, you know what to do. Smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you beautiful people on the next one.